so when are you uh, planning on following in uh, old Jeffy's footsteps, Nick, and, and stepping down as CEO of uh, Nick and Isaac Enterprises? <laughs> yeah. Or in, interim, not interim, honorary CEO of, uh, <laughs> of Nick and Isaac, because obviously that's, um, you know, when you actually haven't done anything CEO-like or related to the job. No, I'm actually, I'm actually um, the the guy who looks like Frank Lampard, Isaac, who's replacing him. Ah. Um, I'm stepping I, up. He's been the CEO for 25 years. I read that. That was madness. He started in the that world. Man. He did. Yeah. He started, right now, he, now he's he's got so much money. He's like, right, I don't, I don't even care anymore, bro. He wants to go. They all do it, don't they? They all go and do their other ventures, like mm. Bill Gates is like saving the world. Yeah. Um. Who else? All the other guys. <laughs> all Warren, the other. Warren Buffett is eating a Mackey's. <laughs> Donald Trump went and became president. You know, all of them ones. You know what I mean? Do you reckon we're going to step down? I mean... 25 years, Isaac. Oh, I don't know. And like hand it over to someone else. Oh, wow. I mean, that, that would be uh, that would be surprising, Nick, to say someone the Someone in cloud least. consulting, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Do you think, uh, you think you know, the the job of Prime Minister is uh, a natural follow-up to your current occupation? I hope so. As, as, as you know, digital entertainer slash... Digital entertainer. I mean, Minecraft I mean, man. these days, Isaac, Yeah. freaking digital entertainer being Prime Minister, I, I wouldn't... But an eyelid. Yeah, no, very true. Yeah, very true. I mean, <laughs> we'd have to, <laughs> we'd have to like mass delete the quote system that keeps our oh, record of things. Oh, you have to mass delete the quote system and all the material that supports them as well, Isaac. <laughs> Otherwise, BBC News is going to have a field day. And don't even get me started on Daily Mail, Isaac. It's going to be new every day from something else we said. We can, uh, we can use the quote system to reverse engineer and find the videos we need to delete. That's true. <laughs> That's so true. It's like the anti. It's like the it's it's the it's the precursor to the cancel Nick and Isaac system, right? Mm. We can use it as a mitigation to cancel to us being cancelled. Indeed. Fine. I mean, I wouldn't. I don't think the Queen would appreciate if I was Prime Minister. And there's you know probably the case of quite a few times where we've just called her Lizzie, right? Big Lizzie. <laughs> That's very, very true. <laughs> maybe she liked that though. I mean, yeah, maybe. You know. You know, it's one of those jobs, Nick, where eventually it's just like you know why are people so formal? She's a person too. You know, she just wants to to live life. Yeah, like um, she, I remember seeing something about there's all this etiquette, right? When you go and have dinner with the royal family, and someone did something wrong, and she was like, "Ha ha ha! You held a fork. You used your dessert fork to eat the starters. Ha ha ha! That's funny." And all the other people were like, "Oh my god, look at her! She's a she's swine." But the queen <laughs> yeah. was like, "Oh yeah, like yeah, secret no, service no. in the corner of the room, like tam- like on their intercoms, like you know." Red alert, red alert, red get alert, it. Red alert. <laughs> we get have a situation. <laughs> get get out. out of there. <laughs> yeah. yeah maybe, man. maybe she'd be like being called it. I mean, if I was in that position, I, I yeah. wouldn't care if people were informal with me. I'd pr- I'd almost find it refreshing, to be honest, Isaac. Um, Again, if you have my stream open, Nick, this is a raccoon. Uh, right, let me have a look. I've got my uh, my stream preview in the way. Oh, my goodness me. I look know. at that. <laughs> I really want to. Oh, Isaac, we're going to have to capture some of these animals and, yeah. and start a zoo. Bring them back. We're going to need to bring them back. We need some golden lassos. Here we go. Lasso. No, with no extra utilities, man. Damn, I forgot that was even a, that was even extra utility. So what can we use? What, what's the Pokeballs called? What are they? Uh, the Pokeballs are called mob imprisonment tools. Uh, I believe we do have that. Mob imprisonment tool. Oh, we need plastic, Isaac. Oh, God. Yeah, and it's a gas always here away. Well. Yeah. well, eventually when we do, oh, you've just appeared. Oh, yeah, I always forget you use this. Hey. Yes. Have you, set yours? Fan. have you set your I've home? I've set mine, yeah. I've set mine. Beautiful. Okay. I've made the fan blow. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, so I think now what we need to do, we need to get like, and obviously we can rearrange, you know, the specifics of this in the future, but I'm pretty sure what we need to do here is we need to get some water. We need to put the water in front of the fan. So maybe like this. Okay. But preferably like, you know, not spreading. Uh, oh God, right. This is where I'm going to, here we go. I'm going to. There we go. So I, th- yeah, I think do. you can like do this and then maybe get rid of the cobblestone. You know, like, you'd be surprised, Nick, that, that so many years and I still don't know how the, the Minecraft water Honestly, physics works. Honestly, Isaac, I don't think the, the Minecraft people know how it works either, to be maybe? to be perfectly honest. You think they just <laughs> they just wing it? I think they just wing it. But we need to put like, we need to put items like in front here. You'll notice that that there's like blue particle effects over here on the tether right, table. Right, right. So maybe like, could we do this? 
Oh, but we yeah, need it, we need it fully encased, right? We need like the water. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if we do? If we do this, we can at least stop it in its tracks, and we still have this water coming out, right? It's not ideal, but I think. So if you put like a yeah, if you put some blocks down there, can we just put some? Can I just throw some stuff here? I think it's possible that you could just throw some stuff here. Like if I grab a crushed tin or piece, real quick. Oh yeah, of course you have to use that version. It, there's there's extra particle effects. Yeah, if it stays there long enough, <laughs> it should. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. It turned into tin nice. nuggets. Tin ingots. Well, we can obviously we can put like a obviously if we move our workbenches or move the system. We can have like a hopper here, so they just fall into the hopper, right? We could. Oh, so you're thinking like dropper with hopper? Hopper, yeah. Right, I think the way we did it previously is we had multiple fans and we had them go like across the fans, right? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, we did do that. We had, they were on conveyor belts, weren't they? They, they were on conveyor belts. And yeah. I do have, Nick, a mechanical belt. Yeah, you've got the, uh, you've got the stuff now. I do. So I think with the belt system... Again, you know, a bit rusty on my knowledge here, but if we do like this, I think that we can then do like this. Oh, okay. I think we want this one lower. Lower, yes. But I think the general premise is sound. Right. I think I just picked something up of yours here. Uh, you may have received my. Oh no, I think I think we're good. Have I received your? Or maybe it was just me hearing you pick it up. Yeah, I thought you Don't might have, uh, have received, received my shaft. shaft. Yeah, no, my I'll shaft. Save that for, for later. It's just for me, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. One, two, and then just you know connect those up. And so this does need rotational energy, right? Yes. To be so able to, to move to... it. Maybe we can come off this gearbox, this new gearbox. Yeah. Go onto another gearbox, which goes into another gearbox. Oh man, that's a lot of gearboxes, man. It's a lot of gearboxes, Isaac. We're gonna have a lot of speeds here. Alternatively, I... mm -hmm. you know, just spitballing ideas here. I also think we can get rid of this now. Nope. Are we gonna? Are you gonna take a shaft coming right off of this? Yeah. Alternatively, we could just put like another wheel over there, right? Oh yeah, that's totally true. We can do that. Yeah. We can just use wheels. Just another water wheel, straight up. Yeah. No, not even another water wheel. We can connect to the pre... Like, you know how uh, well, over know here we have like a yeah. small... Yeah, yeah we yeah, can yeah, just yeah, put like yeah, another yeah. wheel here. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it you, should... Yeah, you get it. Have I got any shaft? Let's have a look. I need a long, some longer shaft. Here we go. Yeah. Hello? Okay, do I need to make some? Don't know. <laughs> I think this... Yeah, like I think can we just... Yeah, like this. And then, yeah, are you working on shaft? I've got shaft. I've got serious amounts of shaft. Isaac. Serious shaft. Okay. Uh, could you shaft up from that small gear over there to the... Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand. Here we go. All right, we're in business. Oh, no, look we're at that. We're in business. That. So, <laughs> it's working. Now, hmm... So now, you know, you can you can have items, you know, arrive on, not like that. Uh, I think we can just like hopper items onto here, or if not, we can drop them at least. And, you know, they make their way uh, across. However, of course, now they're not receiving enough, you know. Yeah, they're uh, not H2O. receiving enough blow. Exactly, to, yeah. To be satisfied. <laughs> Bingo, yeah. That's exactly. <laughs> the, the blow, the levels of blow, the amounts of blow are just not satisfactory at the minute. So we need to, we need to increase... Uh, we need to like oh, we need to we need optimize to for blow time. charge this fan. Yeah, well, <laughs> we need to strap a rocket to this fan. <laughs> I think we could either, you know, increase blow speed, or we could optimize for blow oh, time. Creeper alert, Isaac! By the way, creeper alert. Oh yeah, let's back up, shall we? Let's back up. We don't want we don't want him shafting us. No, no one wants your shaft. Get out of here, please! I don't even know where my sword is, man. Ah, I've got this little dagger, man. Don't you worry. Yeah, you got him. I sim. There we go. Yeah, I mean, like, alternatively. I mean, we, could we have this go in a uh, parallel direction? That's what I was thinking, in yeah. In line with the fan. Mm-hmm. That was kind of my next my next thought. Now, I also think, Nick, that actually, maybe, just possibly, if we do this, we can minimize jankiness. I know it seems like at the minute I'm maximizing jankiness, but, <laughs> but mean, bear I, with. I, I trust you, Isaac. I trust you. Don't worry. You know, if we do this, and then I like, get rid of Oh, I know this. what you're trying to do. Is that going to make it a single stream? I think that's going to make I it a single it when stream. You, when you're streaming, 
Isaac and it just goes everywhere. I hate it when you're you're streaming and they, they expect you to watch two streams, man. It's exactly, just nonsense. Exactly. Single Isaac. stream all the way. Exactly. So this works. And now I do agree that maybe we could like do we want to switch the well do we want to switch the belt to be in line with the the blow or do we do we not? I think we want the belt to go in line with the blow. Right. But then at that point, is there any point having a belt because the blow provides the the flow? That's the thing. Like I, the blow is like sufficient, right? Exactly. And actually, it might even be perfect timing wise. Like by yeah, the time it's slow enough, right? The yeah. belt's might be too fast. Mm, yeah. But just or here we go. No, that's just actually inspired me. So we have the blow slowly moving things forward, and then they then go on to this mechanical belt. So we bring the mechanical belt to like here right so it goes like this so items get blown 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 and then by the time they are washed they then go onto the conveyor belt and get moved in this direction into a to wherever chest. they go yeah okay so at that point nick we need a, a, a mechanism by which not to be confused with the mod by which we can drop items onto the Non in, into the washing zone. Into the washing zone. So I assume we're going to move the tetra table, and we're going to just have like some cobblestone that we're going to declare yeah, as the I washing can, zone. I can. Here we go. I'll, I'll axe these. Here we go. So a regular Minecraft dropper requires like a repeated redstone signal, I think, to continually drop. So you'd have to like keep triggering it. I see. However, Nick, there is a nifty little little known mod um, called Botanier which adds oh, right. <laughs> the ability. I've never heard of that. It's a very small mod, Nick, that you may not Is have it? heard of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Real, real niche. Real I was niche. scared that you'd say Britannia <laughs> then, Isaac, when you started that, but I'm glad it's yeah, not that, no, that not stupid mod. I would, I would never. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, it has an item called the Open Crate, and any item that you feed into it will auto-drop, right? Understood. So Understood. do you have, Nick, the technical ability to reposition the milling situation to where the products of the mill are deposited into the washing zone above the washing zone uh right so we want we want this output essentially oh right so instead of this hopper essentially we just want this to be here okay yes i think so first point of call uh, my inventory needs to go let me get rid of all this complete and utter crap. My inventory needs to go. It really does. Isaac. I do need to find some uh, some white petals if I'm going to make this work. We don't have. Do we have a bone meal? We do, right? We have like one bone. Mm, we have one bone. We have ten bone blocks. No, oh. no we got we got loads of bone. Oh, and they craft directly into nine bone meal, correct? Yeah, I, I think so. I think they might even craft into nine bone. Oh, no, it is nine bone meal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good, because that means I can make some uh, some fertilizer, Nick, which is going to allow me to get these uh, these white petals that I need. Okay, excellent. Right, let me... Oh, I love this hammer, Isaac. Honestly. it The, way, the fact that you can instantly break a create block and it just goes straight into your inventory is fantastic. Like, I didn't think I'd appreciate it. Oh, the, the, the wrench. Did. The wrench, yes. Yes. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. It's nice. Um, right. So when you place this millstone down, does it have to be like, do you have to face directly downwards? Um, I think it only ever places downwards. Oh, that's I don't fine, think there's then. any like... That's, uh, that's, that's, that's helpful. Okay. Witchcraft good. involved. Okay, so that's now down. Um, so let me move. Now I need to get the movement here, the watch movement. Yeah, that, the hard part is going to be getting the you know the shaftage over there. I think. Yeah, it's you know, not to... too bad. Right. Um, I just need to do. I mean, we want it to be fast, don't we? Okay, this is fine. Ideally, I think the faster the better when it comes to the to the grinding gearbox as well. Like that's that's the one that wants to be optimally fast. I'm going to try and make it look not awful. Here we go. So we need. <laughs> No promises, though. <laughs> Who is this man, and what have you done with Nick? <laughs> Give him back. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry, I think it'll last for long. <laughs> oh my god, there's like these arrows when you want to place... Wow. 
Yeah, sorry, I'm just mesmerized right I'm now. I'm telling you, man, there's like so much. It feels like a new game, there's, right? There's so much GUI. That's what I'm saying. Everything's so much more intuitive now. I know, God. Before it was just like guess, bro. Just be careful. <laughs> God, yeah, and it was guess and, <laughs> guess and press, Isaac. And now it's freaking, you know, GUI. And, you know, I'm your guy. I'm your guy. So where the uh, the bomb blocks are in here? Perfect. Oh, yeah, I wonder where we got these from. Maybe a quest reward? Something like that, I'd, I'd have to assume. Must have been, right? We've not, we've not, you know, worked our way through that many skeletons or anything, right? No. Like, no, no way. No, no, no. no okay, no, no. right. No, no, no. Don't be silly, Isaac. All right. I'm going to make a Oh, bow. this is... God, this is... Going to make a pestle and mortar. There we go. So I can break these down. I need to... Oh, God. Oh, God. You're all right there, man. You're all I'm right. I'm fine. Don't, don't worry about don't me. <laughs> <laughs> there is going to be a simpler way of doing this. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out what that what that way is. Um, okay. I'm working on floral fertilizer. So we can do this to get black dye. We can use this to get brown dye. Oh, that's new. So they used to have uh, floral powder. Uh, now they don't. Now they just have the dies the dies interesting yeah right, i need to make so many gearboxes gearbox oh wow you, you're I going the freaking, you're going the big the big I gearbox where freaking seven speed transmission here i oh think i need a, i need a full blown goodness jeez gearbox how many uh, how many speeds does your current vehicle have nick well my my vehicle uses what's called a cvt gearbox oh you've got you, you drive an automatic right i drive an automatic so it's got mm. one so it's one gear that just changes ratio Right. On, so on the fly. Gear. Yeah. Is that like it's, more efficient? It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be more efficient. It's uh yeah, my car is very it's a hybrid, right? Yeah. Um so it's meant to be very A hybrid of a car and a and a rocket? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it's meant to be really fuel efficient. <laughs> when I, when I are, put the, are rockets fuel efficient? Like is that I mean, everything is relative, <laughs> right? Yeah. I think in that sense too. <laughs> I mean, like if you, I feel like if you compare, uh, you know, like uh, your average, uh, the you know Apollo my, eleven like, versus my one point eight hybrid <laughs> CVT Apollo car eleven versus like the Fiat five hundred or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it's uh, the, the fuel consumption rate might be slightly higher. <laughs> I don't know, Isaac. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Yeah, I don't know, man. Here we go. Okay, right. I want these cogwheels are lit. I wonder how much fuel it takes to get to the moon. Um, like I want it in terms relative to like me going to the to fuel up at like the the petrol station. Oh, that yeah, like, that metric will definitely <laughs> exist. What's the like relatively? How much? How much fuel is that? How many? Uh, how many Fiat five hundreds worth of fuel? How were many used Fiat five hundred the... <laughs> like lifespans of fuel would like one would like the launch use? <laughs> yeah, right. Because I, I think they kind of do stuff like that, right? Like, I'm, I'm obviously no uh, no scientist or rocket person. Um, that's what they call themselves. You're not rocket a rocket people. man, Isaac. I'm not a rocket man, like unfortunately. <laughs> exactly. But, like, they do, they, like, um, I think they use a lot of fuel to get out of the Earth, right? And then they try and utilize, like, gravity where they can to m make sure that they don't have to use too yeah, much fuel. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's notoriously hard to get out of the atmosphere. Mm. Notoriously hard, yeah. Notoriously hard. How long do you think it would... Uh, oh, yeah, well, in the Twitch chat, Toffee says 500,000 gallons just to leave the atmosphere. Yeah. What kind of rocket? I'm interested in the uh, Apollo 11, which I assume was horrendously inefficient because it was made in 1969. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was made then, but it was launched in 1969. No, 1968 model year, <laughs> launched in 1969. <laughs> uh, that's That's it, right? Hey, you got your uh, you got your new '69. So I got a '69 Mustang. It's sort of like yeah, I got a '69 Rocket. <laughs> it's got a license plate on the front. Yeah, oh, it was made oh, in '67 I'm... apparently. Wow, I've done this really wrong. I've put the shaft where the item's meant to go. Right. What what is currently the situation makes a lot more sense. I meant to put a a twirly boy here. Okay, chat, please don't. Please don't ruin it. Please me. forgive Nick. Please for he forgive has me. Sinned. I'm a new okay. to this. I'm like a learner <laughs> shafter. All right. Yeah. Do you reckon they put big L plates on the rocket if someone <laughs> was flying? No, they learned. I definitely P plates for the rocket. It's P plates. Don't don't get it twisted. I wonder if they have that in the uh, in the states. Like here in the UK, if you're a learner driver, like you're currently learning to drive, 
you get a, uh, a provisional license, which just means you're allowed to drive, but you have to have somebody with you who's like, has their license has been and has been driving for like five years or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and then if you passed, they're not mandatory, but you can put on P plates, like a little like P yeah, sticker. to say, hi, I've just started driving. Yeah, to, to other drivers. So basically what it means is you've passed, but you're still not very bad. good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're still bad enough to warrant it. Did you use P plates? No, I didn't use P plates. I also I did not use P plates. I was told to use P plates <laughs> <laughs> on various occasions, <laughs> but I, I never did. Yeah, I used the L plates, but then I never used the P plates. Yeah, that's that's fair. Same here, man. Same here. Hey, quick cue. Mm. So this millstone here, this obviously would connect to, I'm assuming, a cogwheel, or does it connect straight to a shaft? Oh, okay. So hold on. I think. What, what's the deal here? Ooh, the the deal is that you can have a, a you can either attach a shaft to the bottom, which is bad because we want to extract from the bottom, or you can have a wheel like this, like a, an upward facing wheel right next to it. Right. Okay. That makes sense. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like the teeth ingrained with each other. Indeed. Yes. Uh, also, if you could not sleep, because I would like to try and acquire string. I am, however, going to uh, light up your world. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Isaac. Oh, be careful. You have seven in your favorite tank. Oh, is it tank? <laughs> okay, here we go. Right. So I need to place this. Oh, it's not even like that. I'm trying to place it. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's uh, it can be awkward. Yeah, it's quite awkward. I'm assuming I just have to use efficient block placing. Yeah, you know you'll you'll crack it, man. Just think of think of the uh, you know engineers at NASA and how they managed to launch a rocket, you know, freaking fifty years ago, and uh, and you'll be fine, man. It's in 1969, man. That's insane. It is, isn't it? But they managed to achieve that. It's madness. Yeah, Actual it is madness. wild. If you think about like it. Like, I couldn't do that today. No, I couldn't do that today either. <laughs> but supposedly your phone can, Isaac. Oh, that's what oh. I will have to say, isn't it? Did you know that your smartphone is more powerful than the rocket? Oh, I have... see. I'm like, come on, right? Like, Give him some credit, man. Jeez. God. Un- unbelievable, Isaac. God, I'm getting so much engineering details when I when I hover over this, Isaac. Stress impact, zero SU. Oh, don't even man. know what that means. I also don't know what SU means. <laughs> Okay, so I have the open crate, Nick, and uh, I'm going to build out this. So now, uh, do you have the I'm hopper? So, oh, no, I'm you so sorry, sorry viewers. I'm so sorry. <laughs> is, I'm it, so is it that bad? Really bad? I just... I'm being an idiot. Obviously, I've not... Once I get this done once, then it'll be fine. Right. Yeah, don't... Um. So your thing's in the wrong place, by the way, as well. Your mill. Oh, right. The My... mill needs to be. The mill needs to be. Hold up. Let me. The mill needs to. Hold on. The mill. Yep. The mill needs to be above that hopper. Got you. Okay. Well. Oh. That's where it needs to be. Right. Let me just grab that. But in good news, Nick. Oh, we might actually know. Never mind. Hold on. Hello. I'm also being an idiot. I think we'll bring that back by one. Sure. Well, at least yeah. If we get this in the right place first, then it saves reconfiguring. Yes. What that mess behind us? Don't worry about that. Um. So I think we want to do this for maximum, maximum like water time. Okay. So we want it to be above this open crate. Above that hopper. Above the hopper. Okay. I'm, I've slowly started to get the hang of it, Isaac. I've got <laughs> one step further. I've now oh, successfully like attached this cogwheel to this millstone, and I'm really tempted <laughs> to just use cogwheels. All to, the way, um, like cogwheels all the way down. Yeah, but but what I might do is I might alternate <laughs> big and small ones to, just to like. Might as well you speed it up, right? Yeah, okay. So if I grab... I mean, you could I, try, yeah. I know there's some big ones somewhere here, Isaac. Oh, uh, maybe you might not. have to make new big ones, but that's... Have you used here's four ones? shafts, by the way. You only get two you. at a time, but I think we've used both. Sure. Okay. Um, right. Did you get those? Yeah. I got them, I got them. Thank you. So the idea here, just in case anyone's not quite keeping up, because it is confusing. Yes. We have our water wheel producing power. Right, it's producing, uh, it's turning, producing uh, rotational energy. We're then using a, a, comp- a convoluted and probably overly complex system of, uh, of gears and cogwheels and uh, shafts to transport that over to this millstone. The millstone, if you pipe the ore drops into it, so we take these uh, like ore pieces, like iron ore and whatnot, put them into there, that turns them into these uh, crushed pieces. Like right now I have crushed copper ore. We then have those drop down 
via this open crate onto this cobblestone. And you can see this in action here, Nick. Look at this. This is incredible. Oh, look it's at dropping. that. Yeah. And so then this fan here slowly but surely blows them with water. And we probably don't need to keep it this long, actually, because you'll see they're transforming into copper nuggets before they reach the end. So the idea, copper, is that these copper chunks get milled down over here into crushed copper ore. We then bulk wash the crushed copper ore into a guaranteed 10 copper nuggets with a possibility of getting an extra five at the end. And then look at that. My inventory is just like <laughs> full of nuggets now, which is amazing. Perfect. I think I can, I'm just going to pause the system. I think I can speed this up even faster, actually. Oops. Hold on. Oh, like this? No, that didn't work. Okay. Excuse, excuse me. I was seeing if I can add another big one, Isaac, Nick, to the, make it. <laughs> I, don't, I made a mistake, man. <laughs> well, not really a mistake, but like there's too many nuggets. Like I, I'm struggling to craft these nuggets oh, right, into, into ingots because there were so many nuggets. It's okay. I've, I've figured it. I've cracked it. Okay, no worries. I'm just adding, I'm adding extra big and small cogwheels just to maximize the speed of this. Oh, I see. There yes. we go. So I think this hopefully is. Look at that. Oh, it's working. Yeah. It's <laughs> Look spinning. At that. It's I mean, spinning. it looks, you know, I don't you know, know if it's speeding up. It doesn't look like it is, does it? Um, I actually don't know. I can't this, tell. This big wheel here, this big, like, primary shaft looks quite slow. Whereas, like, over here, like, if you pull a shaft kind of down from, like, this big wheel. Uh, yeah, sure. One second. Let me get to my Like, shaft. I think that would give us a... Uh, um... Yeah, I think it's the same speed, man. Yeah, this uh, it's not. <laughs> I think it needs to be one big and two small to speed up. M also, maybe. I have no idea. Oh, and I think it's oh no, it's it's because you're going like yeah. So I think to get bigger, you have to have like um a big cog wheel, and then like a small cog wheel in front of it, not side of it. So you go from big cog wheel at the front, so like it, directly in front of each other, right? Big cog wheel, then small cog wheel, then big cog wheel adjacent to small cog wheel, then small cog wheel in front of big cog wheel. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you have some cog wheels for I which have I can some cog wheels with I which I can to... demonstrate my uh, my please, thesis? Please, please. I've got. Uh, here you go. You can have loads of small ones. Let me just go and extract this big one because you know we can always put it back. I don't think we can do it in your method because of the way you set this up. But if you pass it to me, I can uh, I can show you my my, my thesis. Here we go. So with I the think... control one or the example one. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that the way you get faster is like you do this, this spins at a normal speed. When going from big to small, the um, small one spins faster. You can then put, like imagine this one here is big, that then makes that big one smart faster. Uh, you can then put small here, and you do like a big, yeah, small, big, small, big, small, big, small. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think that's how you accelerate. Not um, the way, not, not like this. Not this bloody <laughs> disaster. <laughs> Uh, here okay, you go. Here's all your cogs back, by the way. Fine. Thank you, thank you. Okay, well, that's fine then. We, we can we can work on this, Isaac, and we can um, lather it up and make it look nice. For now, I'm just going to like reattach this to, just to get it to work. Okay. Do you have by any chance two andesite alloy? Uh, I have one, Isaac, but I can make you one more. Don't worry. Oh uh, yeah, please. There you go. Now you can have. This is the wrong way, isn't it? Oh no, it's nuggets. Bear with. Here we go. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Here is two andesite alloy. There you are. Thank you. Because I think what we might be able to do here is make an andesite funnel, and then maybe, like, I might have to move this back by one. But I think, Nick, what we can do is we can have our final chest here. We can then have this big old, like, sucker right here. And I think, I don't want that there, of course, but I think if I were to now, let's say, put some... Uh, of the old, you know, milled. Let's say, uh, let's get, uh, let's take some copper. So we put the copper, it's just been milled, it drops, it then slowly but surely makes its way through. With obviously there's, and it's nice actually because there's plenty of time for it to be washed. As yes. Just, as is demonstrated there. And then look at that, it makes its way in. Oh, nice. Look at that, 17 just appeared. Nice. That's like, you know, almost doubling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, it might have been more. It might be more. There was uh, the other stack got. I think it just didn't update quick enough for me. I think it's yeah, probably yeah. Like, well. I think I think fifteen is the max. I think you get you guaranteed ten. You can. There's a fifty percent chance you get an extra five. So I think fifteen is the max here. Right. 
but you know. So like right now, you know, we'd have like a hopper like this, which is where we'd put all of our, you know, chunks, like this copper chunk here. Copper chunk gets ground down, dropped, washed, deposited here. So I think what we're going to want to do, Nick, is we, the, we'll probably have to take a look at this. There are probably ways we can simplify this system. Yeah, um, definitely. Although I do love the grand nature of this monster. It looks amazing, say. doesn't it? <laughs> it looks great. But uh, I think what we want to do is we want to maybe simplify it. I think we want to look at a way of easily getting ores up into that hopper so we don't have to climb it, right? We probably want to try and get like a conveyor belt that goes up so we can have like a ground level chest that we just dump all of our ores into and they make their way up there. And I also think we want to look at some kind of crafter to auto craft those ingots into, oh sorry, the nuggets into ingots, right? Yes, exactly. And I know exactly. like uh, RF tools doesn't add crafters, but at that point we have to look into power. Um, but yeah, I think that's what we'll look at doing next because then we can kind of have like a fully automated audibling system nick i like to think this is what goes on inside of a pulverizer yeah this is, this is the <laughs> internal workings it's like um my first pulverizer five to seven year old do it yourself kit right <laughs> this, is, this is what it looks like i mean it just gets engineered down into the small ones yeah i mean we could make a pulverizer <laughs> they're not no, that hard no, but no, i think no, this no, is no, so no, much no, no, no. this cooler. is way better it is right we way got a freaking better. washing system in here man it's, it's so great. cool <laughs> and it works as well which is it does you know, also great amazing we might be able to bring this in by one like maybe bring the funnel forward by one because it seems like the uh, the copper is getting uh, like washed before it gets yeah, there yeah especially if we speed the fan up too then hmm, i don't know how that i don't know how speeding the fan up affects it it might just push you faster it just blows it faster yeah maybe yeah maybe, i don't maybe. know how time affects that i'm actually not sure but uh, either way nick we're gonna have to go ahead and wrap up the uh, enigmatica six portion of today's stream there